Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com and we are talking about dating success for men. The topic for this video is what can disqualify you in her eyes. There are a few things that you can do which are going to be so such turn-offs for her that she's going to refuse to see you again. Okay, and we are going to check some of these. The first one has to do with lack of personal care. If you have dirty clothing, uh, messy shoes or <laughs> bad breath or these kind of things, uh, this can be disqualifiers. It means that just because of this little detail in your life or in your body, she's going to refuse to see you again. And you might say, well, you know, isn't this a bit harsh? We might be soulmates. <laughs> Who cares? You know, really, in her mind, this can be a disqualifier. Another disqualifier is being self-absorbed or problem-focused, really. If you, every time you see her, you talk about problems at work or problems with your ex, problems with your divorce or with kids or with health or whatever, problems is what she's going to remember from you and it's going to be a disqualifier again. You need to be in a positive state to be able to create attraction with her. And uh, even if you are facing problems you know, in your life, uh, challenges, you don't have to bring them to a date when you are with her. You can focus, you can shift your mindset and really focus on the positives. So this takes a little bit of training, especially if you are, you know, if you are, if there are a couple of areas in your life where you're being challenged, that's fine, but you don't have to bring that in, um, you know, in a, in a first date or in, a, in your dating life. This can come later. If you need her support for something, then, you know, you can ask her for that much later. After you have been committed, after you have been dating for two, three months, and if you really need help, it's better to seek help from a professional. Uh, you know, give me a call, sp uh, speak with a coach, with a therapist or psychologist, do that kind of work, but don't let personal issues invade your dating life. This is very important. It's going to be a turn off. It's, it's something which, uh, which, uh, which is going to disqualify you in her eyes. The next disqualifier has to do with lack of respect. If you tend to invade her personal space or are totally insensitive to some issues in her life, then this is going to be a disqualifier again because she, you know, she's checking you out. She's kind of assessing if you are a good mate, if you are a potential husband, if you are somebody with who uh, it's going to be fun to be, uh, to be with long term. So if there is anything in your behavior which is being disrespectful, either towards her or towards anything else, you know, it can be towards animals or towards nature or towards other people, towards a salesperson, uh, that can be a turn off and disqualifier as well. Another disqualifier is being too intense, uh, too passionate about about your life or about certain topics. I mean, you have to match her energy level to a certain point. You can be a little bit higher, a little bit more energetic. If she's just cruising along and you come with this intensity, you know, this emotional intensity, sometimes it's just too much. She might be turned off by that as well. And the last one that we will mention here now has to do with self-destructive behaviors, you know, substance abuse, drugs, uh, alcohol, gambling, uh, overspending behaviors, these kind of things, which again give her uh, the very wrong signal about you. It tells that you are not really in control of your life, or even if you are, even if you are totally in control of what's happening, you know, maybe your drinking habits you think, you know, that's fine, that's something I can live with, maybe that's not something that she wants to share with you. So this can be also a disqualifier in her mind. Okay? So remember those, right? The first one has to do with lack of personal care. Uh, second one being too much problem focused. A third one is lack of respect. Uh, another one is uh, being too intense or too passionate. And another one is self-destructive behaviors or attitudes. Okay, I hope this makes sense. You take care and bye-bye.